Hello YouTube, welcome back to The Daily Life. Uh, today is Wednesday, February the 6th, 2014. And if you are wondering why I appear to be doing a strip tease for you, I am not doing a strip tease, I am buttoning up my shirt. Um, taping this week is a lot and I'm a busy man, so sometimes I don't get my shirt on all the way before I go to air. And today is one such day. I think we'll go. One more? No, I guess not. So, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's show. We got a great couple shows coming up to round off the week. Today is hump day. We're almost at the weekend again. Always like to mention that because the weekend is the best thing. Uh, who likes school? Who likes work? No one. Now, today. The topic is door handles. Now, I did this topic after reading a newspaper article in my local daily. Plug for newspapers, people don't read them anymore. Buy a newspaper subscription. People gotta have jobs. Uh, about door handles. Now, this is a really small topic and it, it's a small issue, but I feel like it's a good issue. Now, there are two types of door handles in the world. I'm sure there are other ones, but there are two major ones. I am holding on to a door handle right now that is what is called the lever style handle. Now, I wish I had a visual, but I wasn't that prepared. But I think that you can tell the difference between a lever and a knob. Levers and knobs. These are the two types of door handles. Now I'm going to deal with a knob first because it is most common where I'm from. Although apparently it will be getting less common, which I think is unfortunate. A door knob is a round circular thing like this. You twist it, you turn it one way, and then you open the door or you push the door. The other type of door handle is called a door lever. Now, I don't know if I ought to do this, but maybe if I shut the door, and I, uh, this is a first on daily life. I like to point out historic firsts. This is the first time I'm ever going to move my camera. I'd like to see if I can show you a door handle. See this? This is a door lever. See how it works? Now, I point this out for two reasons. The first reason being that it really does not matter whether your home has door handles, door levers, or door knobs. I do not think it matters. They serve the same function, the opening of a door. Now, my personal preference is for a doorknob. I think that it looks neater, I think that it's less obtrusive, and uh, I don't like it. Now, the critics will say that door levers are the better way. You're going to say why. I'm going to tell you why. And it seems kind of retarded. Ridiculous. I shouldn't say that word. The kids out there don't use the word that I just used. Calling people retarded is not cool. Um, now, why do societies seem to be moving towards door levers and preferring them instead of door knobs? Well, the argument goes something like this. Door knobs require a tight grasp. They require you to grasp the knob and turn it, which can be hard for children and or the elderly to open doors. Whereas door levers, all you have to do is this, push it down, and the door opens. Now, I admit, I don't know that much about physical disabilities. I don't have a physical disability. But I suspect, I mean, I've been opening doors for 20-some years. And I know, I mean, I live in a newer building now, but my house and 
every other house I've lived in had round circular doorknobs, including, by the way, the first house that I lived in. When I was a little wee person, lived there till I was about seven years old. It had doorknobs. And I've been opening doors for 20 years, as I say, and I, when I was two years old, when I could start to walk, and I figured out how to use doorknobs, I never found that it was hard to do. I never found that I had to grasp a doorknob. I mean, yeah, you do have to, I guess, you do have to grasp it a little more tightly than you do have to grasp a, a lever-type doorknob, door handle, whatever. But I was two, and I could do it. Now, if a two-year-old can open a door, you know, I just don't see how that matters. And in fact, in the article that I was reading in the paper mentioned that public policy people uh, in a couple of Canadian cities, I think Vancouver and Halifax, have banned doorknobs in new homes in favor of the lever, which I showed you a couple minutes ago. Now, why is this a problem? It is not a problem. It is not that expensive. Okay, say you prefer the doorknob like me. I prefer doorknobs. I think they look better. They're more aesthetically appealing. If you prefer a doorknob and you want to build a house with doorknobs, it doesn't affect you. The thinking is, well, it might affect the next owner of the house. So we can't have that. No new homes. It's not that expensive to replace a doorknob with a door lever. So if a senior buys your home, or a family with small children who for some reason can't open a door, I mean, I open doors, lots of children do it, but it's like, I'm sure that the, a system the one, like the one I just showed you right over here probably costs a maximum of 20 or $30 to buy and, uh, and install. I mean, it's not, you don't have to get a whole new door. You just unscrew the doorknob, take it off, put your lever on, screw it back in. It takes five minutes and, like, not that much money. Now, if your house has a lot of doors, but you can get doorknobs that are pretty cheap. A doorknob's not a cheap thing to get. And a lot of seniors, I mean, I have, I know seniors, they have houses with doorknobs. Do any of them have a problem with that? Absolutely not. Every senior that I know is perfectly capable of operating a doorknob. It's just a dumb thing. I mean, a lot of the problem with, well, I'm not going to get into it. There's a lot of people who make public policy in this country that have too much time on their hands. That's a story for another show. So... That's my thoughts on door handles. Now, it would look weird if you had a door without handles or knobs. But that is becoming increasingly common, not so much in residences, but in commercial buildings and, you know, airports and, and places of work. Because doors are becoming automated. So maybe there will be a day when we don't even have to have this discussion, and this may be rendered a moot point in the future. Because if you have a door that opens automatically, why do you need a doorknob? Now, I guess you could put a doorknob for, for a backup system. That would be all right. But, it's important to note, I don't think that would happen. No, I don't. So, RT. Now, that's all I have to say about door handles. So, yesterday, or on Monday, I was supposed to do, the subject I was supposed to do was elections, and not the political side, the mundane side. I'm running out of topics to talk about. If you have any suggestions for a topic, hit me below. There's a lot of goofy things that go on in election day that uh, I'd like to inform you of. And uh, it was supposed to be the subject of Monday, but then I realized that Sunday was Groundhog Day, so I decided to do it on that. And um, so I do hope you enjoy, join me for that great show, and then we'll round off the week on Friday. I'm Tom Johnson for everybody at The Daily Life. Have a good one.